Phase Change Engineering Internship, Day 1, Introducing the Engineering Internship. If you are watching the video instructions, they cover the entire lesson, so you will need to pause the video when necessary. Activity 1, Connecting to Futura Workspace. Starting today, you will be working as engineering interns for a company called Futura. You will start each day of your internship by reading a new message. You'll open the Futura workspace and select Phase Change Engineering Internship. Then you'll open the day one message to read about your new internship. Students, open Futura workspace and read about your new internship. Ensure you are clear on your tasks for the day, making annotations for Chapter 2 in the dossier. After hours, making annotations for Chapter 1 in the dossier. Teacher, introducing Futura. Welcome engineering interns. I'll be your internship coordinator and I'll guide you through this project with Anton Green, your project director. Where have you heard the word engineer before? What kind of work do engineers do? You may respond, engineers often use math and science to create and design things like structures, machines, and everyday objects that help people. What about chemical engineers? What do you think they do? You might say chemical engineers apply the concepts of chemistry and math to solve problems that involve the use of chemicals such as fuels, medical products, food, and other products. It is not necessary for you to correct or filter responses as the point is to share prior knowledge. All engineers design solutions to problems. Chemical engineers apply the principles of chemistry and math to solve problems that involve the use of chemicals. You will be working as chemical engineering interns at Futura. Here are some examples of chemical engineering projects. Designing synthetic materials like fibers for clothing, paper products, plastic, rubbers, dyes, and electronics. Constructing and operating power plants and chemical plants. Designing new methods for producing fertilizers, refining oil and natural gas, making drugs and equipment for medical treatment and research, and controlling and cleaning up pollution. Your project director is Anton Green. Anton has sent a video message to explain more about Futura and the engineering project. Students, play part one of the video. Anton wants you to design a portable baby incubator. What are some goals that might be important to make your incubator design successful? Students turn to a colleague to briefly discuss. Let's watch the rest of Anton's video message. Students play part two of the video. Let's discuss what you learned in the video about your internship. What is the project you will work on? You should respond to create an incubator design for the Global Health Organization for new babies in need whose families don't have access to hospital incubators. Do you have any questions? Note that the internship is fictional. Futura Engineering and the employees you will meet are fictional, but that you work, the work you do is very similar to that of professional engineers. Professionals in training often participate in simulations such as this to practice the skills needed for the job before being given a real assignment. As chemical engineering interns, you will use what you've learned about phase change in thermal energy to solve a real problem. Remember, Anton Green will be the project director of this internship. He will send you messages, assign you tasks to do, and give you feedback about your work. You will follow his directions as you plan and test your designs and apply what you learn about phase change materials and engineering practices. Anton will also be in charge of determining whether your work is up to Futura engineering standards. As the internship coordinator, I will communicate with Anton about your progress, answer your questions, and help guide you through the project. Your internship will have three phases, research, design, and proposal. I'll give you a quick overview of what will happen in each phase. During the research phase, you will look for information to understand the problem you're trying to solve. How to use phase change materials to design a portable baby incubator. During the design phase, you will apply the research you did towards planning, building, testing, and analyzing your incubator designs. 
During the proposal phase, you will write a proposal describing evidence from the research and tests of how your incubator design addresses the project criteria. Criteria, standards by which something may be judged. Do you remember the word criteria from the video? The engineering problem you are about to start working on for Futura will need to meet certain criteria to ensure your designs are successful. Criteria are the things that you must consider or think about and test to evaluate whether your design or project is successful. Let's discuss the three criteria for your design. One, keep the baby's average temperature as close to 37 Celsius, 98.6 Fahrenheit, as possible. Minimize the time outside of the healthy temperature range and keep costs low. Remember, you heard about the project criteria in the daily message and in the welcome video. After hours, you will also read the request for proposals and that reviews the criteria as well. Teacher Exploring Baby Warmer Throughout your internship, you will be using Futura Workspace to get messages, record notes, and submit work. Let's see how it works. You will still have access to Futura Workspace to use the design tool and to submit your initial designs, but you will receive daily messages from Anton, record notes on project information, and submit other work to Anton through your engineering notebooks. Notice the table of contents in the glossary in the notebook. Students, play the video. To design and test incubator designs, you'll use a digital model called Baby Warmer. It simulates a baby's temperature response to the portable incubator. A model is an object, diagram, or computer program that helps us understand something by making it simpler or easier to use. For example, at Futura, you will be using a computer simulation to test your designs. Engineers use models like Baby Warmer to predict what will happen. They can change variables and see what outcomes happen as a result. Baby Warmer is a scientific model. Scientists often make and use models like these to study things they cannot measure directly. They can change variables and see what outcomes happen as a result. This lets them predict outcomes in the real world under similar conditions. Baby Warmer is accurate in many ways. The materials in the model were inspired by real materials that are commercially available. But like any model, Baby Warmer is simplified and accurate in some ways. Press the button on the top right corner of Futura Workspace to open Baby Warmer. You will, have a few, you will only have a few minutes to explore Baby Warmer right now, but you will be using it over the next several days as you continue your research and eventually test designs in order to address the project criteria. Explore Baby Warmer. As you explore, think about ways the model is accurate and ways it is simplified. Students, take three to four minutes to explore Baby Warmer on your devices. Remember that you will discuss with a colleague what you notice or find interesting during your exploration. What did you notice about Baby Warmer? What did you find interesting? Be sure to notice the following. You can test an incubator with any combination of 0 to 4 PCMs. You can test an incubator with 0 to 3 layers of an insulating material, including one that has no PCMs. When using PCMs, they go in pockets under any insulation. Test results relate to the project criteria. The temperature over time graph shows the temperature for the baby and for each PCM. The time slider shows the baby's temperature at each minute. If the baby's temperature goes below 35 Celsius, you can't see the line, but the temperature label stays visible so you can still see the baby's temperature. There's a key below the graph. You can turn the temperature lines on or off by selecting the corresponding labels in the key. The reheating of phase change materials graph shows when the PCMs are removed from the incubator for reheating in hot water. Let's summarize what we noticed about the Baby Warmer digital model. What is accurate about the model? You might respond, energy transfers from warmer to colder materials. The PCMs transfer energy to the baby as they change phase. Different PCMs work somewhat differently. What seems simplified? The size of the baby is always the same in the model, but real babies are different sizes and so would change temperatures different amounts. 
Activity 2. Reading about phase change materials. You will begin your research on phase change materials, PCMs, by reading part of the Futura Chemical Engineers dossier. Dossier is a term professionals sometimes use for a set of related documents, including all of their project details. It includes the background information and references you need to complete your internship. You can access the dossier through the link in the Welcome to Futura message. You can also open the dossier directly in the Amplify library or in the lesson brief. It is essential to know about phase change materials for this project, so you'll read Chapter 2. You can use the table of contents to navigate between the chapters. Engineers read like scientists, reading multiple times, making connections to things they already know about, and asking critical questions. As engineering interns, you should practice these skills, just as you've been doing in science class by using active reading. Remember, active reading guidelines. 1. Think carefully about what you read. Pay attention to your own understanding. 2. As you read, annotate the text to make a record of your thinking. Highlight challenging words and notes to record questions and make connections to your own experience. 3. Examine all visual representations carefully. Consider how they go together with the text. 4. After you read, discuss what you've read with others to help you better understand the text. In addition to recording your own questions and connections as you read, you can make annotations to help you answer this focus question. What are phase change materials, or PCMs? You can open the dossier using the link in the welcome message, read and annotate chapter two, phase change materials in the dossier. Discussing annotations. After reading, discuss the following questions with your partner. While you were reading, what connections did you make? To what you already know. What questions do you have about phase change materials? What words are you unsure about? What information did you find to help you answer the focus question? Let's work together to summarize the key points of what you read in chapter 2. Phase change is a change from one state, solid or liquid or gas, to another without a change in chemical composition. Phase change materials, PCMs, are substances that store and release large amounts of energy during the phase changes of melting and freezing. PCMs are commonly used for everyday situations that require temperature control, like a gel cold pack for an aching muscle. PCMs are used in the future of baby warmer in the form of hot packs. They start as solids at room temperature, but when placed in boiling water, they warm the incubator and the baby inside. The dossier mentioned that the incubator designs will use certain phase change materials because their structures, or their chemical properties, allow them to have a specific function that is useful for portable incubators, the ability to be easily heated and reused over and over again. Remember, you can use the dossier for reference at any time. You should expect to read sections of it several times during your internship. Science and engineers read text multiple times for understanding. Students, be sure to answer the self-assessment questions in the activity and then select Hand In. Activity 3, After Hours Work. For this task, you'll read and annotate Chapter 1, Requests for Proposals, RFP, in the dossier. Then you'll submit your annotations and respond to some questions. Students, complete the After Hours task. End of lesson.